Hello and welcome. Welcome to my home and welcome to my sacred space that I prepared for us here today. Welcome friends and family, every one of you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for all that you do that supports me. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> I'm Olivia and this is Tarot and Coffee with Olivia and I'm here to do your daily pick a card. And I do want you to know how much I appreciate each and every one of you. I could actually do a whole video on that, and I might do that. <laughs> For those of you who know that your presence is so nice to me and you want to hear about it, I think that might be nice. <laughs> okay, so I am going to shuffle our card of the day with our Healing the Mind and Spirit cards by Dr. Brian L. Wise. I really like these cards because they're fairly simple <clears throat> and... Uh, yeah, and they're good. I like I like what they have to say. It's more kind of stuff that you might hear in therapy sometimes than what you would hear um, from a spiritual guide. However, there are some very spiritual cards in here as well. <clears throat> it's just not overwhelmingly so on either count. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut the deck and I will pull our card of the day from the bottom. And we have, I am aware that a life filled with difficulty is not a punishment. That's interesting. You know, we got this card recently. Somebody really needs to hear this. Maybe it's me. <laughs> Let's see what the back says. Sometimes the most evolved souls take the most challenging paths. So... As simple as this card sounds and seems, it does cut very deep, doesn't it? It goes deep. Um, I'm going to not... <clears throat> I am not going to... Add to this card at this time. I think it's... They're all pretty self-explanatory. And... Uh, and it's, it's definitely something to think about. It's our thought of the day. All right. Um, I chose jewels today. My lovely jewels. So, if you haven't done a pick a card before, basically you pick a card. <laughs> and you can, the jewels kind of help us figure out the difference between each card. I mean, I don't, I don't plan what things I'm going to put on the cards. I just put them on the table even before I shuffle the cards. And then when I shuffle the cards... And put them on the table. Um, I just put the one closest to it on top. So the toppers don't really have a significant meaning that I have given them. That's all I'm saying. They may have a meaning to you. And that that will mean that it will kind of be, it might be the card that you want to pick. Or maybe you'll stay away from that card because of the meaning it has for you. Either way, I'm making this more complicated than it is. It's really easy. You just pick a card. I have timestamps so you can skip ahead to your card. And let's go ahead and show you the card toppers. So we have this flower. Get a good focus on it. And then we have the starburst. I really don't wear these jewels very often if I do at all, actually. Yeah. So I do love that I have something that I can do with them because I do feel like they are just really exquisite. This used to be a ring, this gator here. He, uh, he is no longer a ring, but I just could not get rid of him just because he wasn't a functional ring anymore. It's quite spectacular. All right, while you guys look over these card toppers, I'm going to go ahead and have another sip of coffee. And if you need more time to look over the cards to make your choice, <clears throat> please feel free to pause the video so that you can take all the time that you need. 
Otherwise, I am going to go ahead and start with the card that's under the flower. Let's see what we have today. The Magician. Man, I love this card. Now, we're not talking about magic tricks. No, 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 we are not. We're not talking about rabbits popping out of hats. What we are talking about is ingenuity, making use of your opportunities. We're talking about being extremely resourceful to the point where you may even be able to reach over into the magic realms to make things happen. You have a lot of resources. And it is your job to learn to recognize those resources. When I see this card, I often think of MacGyver. It was a television show. I think it was back in the 80s or 90s. Um, and this man, MacGyver, he could... Um, he was always solving a mystery of some kind and somebody was always out to get him um, because he was getting too close and he had a cool car. But the thing that was really distinctive about MacGyver was that he could get out of any situation, no matter how impossible or difficult, almost as if he were a magician. Now, oftentimes what he was doing was making bombs out of household project pro, uh, products, um, picking locks with unusual, unusual, using unusual methods in order to um, escape his captors. So I often think of it as a very adventurous card. Um, I often think of it as street smarts, too. You know? <clears throat> now there is a big spiritual connection here. We have the unicorn in the background. We have... We have the um, Stonehenge, lightning, stars, runes down here. So basically, if this is your card today, you are asked to find amazing solutions. Make use of your opportunities. You have, you have this today. You have this magical... You have this magical force with you today. This way to, to get the things that you want or need through means that might not be very traditional. They might be different. Okay, let's look and see what's in it. That's, that's a cool card. And yes, your life may be... In fact, usually with this magician card, life is very difficult. And that is how you've come to be so magical. Actually, that's what I mean. All right, let's see what's under the starburst. The page of hearts are the page of cups or cauldrons. Um, the page is really good at successful wishing. What does that mean? Well, he has a certain charm, or she. This is a unisex card. It's a it's a youth. It could be very well be male or female. But this is talking about making wishes. You're pretty charming. You can go ahead and ask what you want, ask for what you wish for, and you just might get it. Somebody might just hand it to you. Also, um, you can get your wishes other ways. One, one of the things that's really great about the Page of Cups and wishes is that he knows how to wish and daydream. So first of all, he knows how to make wishes. He knows how to find them. Sometimes that's the hardest part is figuring out what it is that you really want, what it is that you're really wishing for, right? So say the wish out loud, write it down, bring it into fruition using goals, Knowledge, work, or just prepare yourself to receive because somebody may be giving it to you. This is all about the fulfillment of wishes. That's a nice card to have to take. Oh, and these flowers right here, that is the, uh, let's see if we can get a good focus on those flowers. Those flowers are called... I have it written down here in my notes. What are they called? Um, 
sorry. I thought I wrote it in my notes, but I don't see it here. Anyway, these flowers really have to do with beauty. Acanthus flower, beauty and art. So especially if you're someone who enjoys or is wishing for beauty and something artful, like if you're wishing for something, a project, an art project. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and move on. That's a nice card to have today. Think about what it is that you've been wishing for and make that wish come true. Make that, it may just happen for you, for all we know. All right, let's see what's under the pink pen. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles. Is he focused? Can we see his face, his beautiful face? Look at that gorgeous face. Yeah. <laughs> this is someone who's been working hard. This is someone who's been practicing their trade. And this message, you just have a very short message today, and that is that one's own practice makes for the perfect master. Did you want to master that skill? Well, practice. I always, um, something that always troubled me about television, and I've gone years and years and years without watching television. Um, I do watch television now. Um, I probably need to take a break soon. Um, and it really changes your life when you're not watching TV because things become more real. Things become more entertaining, actually. Things out in the world, actual events that are actually happening become more interesting and more solid, more focused. Um, here's the other thing. Um, the thing that bothered me about like television shows and movies is that somebody will decide, oh, I want to play the guitar, and then within minutes... They're playing a song. And that's not how it happens in real life. Because in real life, it takes hours upon hours of practice getting up and doing it again and again. It takes hours and hours of mistakes and trying again. So that's your message today. Basically, it might be a little disappointing. But when you're putting it with, I'm aware of a life filled with difficulty is not a punishment, then you know that practice isn't really the most difficult part of life. <laughs> it's just working to meet a goal. And you have that energy within you. You have the desire. And so when you're feeling dejected and you're feeling like, like you're not getting to where you want to be, remember that you got this card today. And that you're in a good place and that you are moving forward with each practice. All right, let's see what we have under the gator. The alley gator. And we have the nine of rods. Um, this, this one also has a very simple message. It's a card that has you questing and seeking and finding your vision. So figuring out what it is that you want. We've had a few cards with that theme today. Now, in this case, rather than doing the same thing over and over again, as we did in the previous card, calling it practice, this is different. This is going ahead and deciding, deciding to throw out the old habits or those things that aren't serving you in this endeavor. Cast those habits out and go beyond your limits. So rods often um, describe our desires, our urges. So follow your urge today. If you feel like throwing something out, if you like keep doing the same thing, what is that? <laughs> I'm going to say it. If you keep doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results, that's the definition of crazy, right? You're not crazy. Well, we are a little crazy. That's what makes life interesting, right? Anyway, here we are. We're at the end. I'm going to be quiet for just a minute because I don't know if you can hear the rain outside. Listen. The skies just opened up. And it's a beautiful thing. Oh, I'm sorry. We're not even focused. Okay, well, I hope you found just what you needed in this reading. Do take what you need. And discard the rest, okay? 
Um, also, don't make life-altering changes or decisions based on this or any video pick a card, but do book with me, especially if you'd like to make some life-altering changes or, <laughs> or decisions. Okay, I can certainly help you with that. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't like. If you didn't like, do give me a comment. I love all your comments. I love every interaction I have with you guys is lovely and wonderful. Um, even if all you ever do is subscribe and watch a few videos and come back intermittently, that is, I'm so grateful for that. Um, last but not least, subscribe. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.